So you've fallen off of your training because of a more difficult semester, cumbersome work project, or spontaneous new life event. You finally found balance and you're ready to start pushing yourself again. But are you finding that you're telling yourself, where do I get started again? I've had this happen to me so many times through my seven year pursuit of my doctorate and now during my almost two years in private practice. Each time it was difficult to know what weights to pick, how many days of the week I could handle, and just in general what I wanted to do with my training. It's a super common problem um, to have breaks in your training, and the most important thing is that you get back to it at some point. I recently had this happen as I moved from Kansas to Texas after PT school. When I first got here, I was working on getting my start, finding a job, getting my license plates, going out, meeting new people, Needless to say, I didn't have a gym, nor was I ready or had the desire to start up again. Finally had some freedom after PT school, and I was exercising that instead. After about six months though, partying week in and week out got old. So I switched my focus back to something I know I love, working on myself. I knew it was time for a change, but getting back, I didn't really know what to do. I struggled with picking from lifting and inline skating until my life coach asked me to start doing some rehabilitation in my workouts. My upper back was hurting at this point um, and I couldn't really figure out why. Um, if you didn't know, that's kind of the job as a physical therapist, so it was a little bit frustrating. I knew whenever I moved, it felt better, so we went down that path. Um, I started with these PT sessions and before I know it, knew it, it was feeling better and better. Um, at the beginning, it was just bands and body weight, though. And I slowly started integrating more running. I started with mild time trials on the treadmill. And finally, where we are now, integrating lifting back into the routine. Now I'm doing things like lunges, Bulgarian split squats, sit-ups, pull-ups, overhead press, and rows. And all of this is guided by one specific thing, how I feel during the day. My next goal is to run a marathon and that's scheduled for the end of the month at April. The answer to getting back in the swing of things is you, and it's easier to put into practice than you think. It involves around the idea of your using your intuition and more importantly, the way your body feels before and during your movement practice and using that to guide what you work on. Take for example, you've got a tight hip flexor. Wouldn't it be a good idea to stretch that? Absolutely. Now you've found something that you'd like to change. It's time to start trying different things to work on that. Start with what you know. Try a half kneeling hip flexor stretch, a hurdler's stretch, but don't just start there. Static stretching isn't the end all be all. Try to move through it. Use things like a lunge position where you're also loading your legs as well as stretching your hip flexors. Then try different angles. Rotate your hips in and out. See which one gives you the best stretch, but that doesn't hurt, and then go after that one more and more. Now you're a student of your body, and you just use this intuitive training as long as you'd like until you're ready to program yourself, program with the trainer, or buy a program offline. Remember everybody, Life happens and you've got to give yourself some grace. But when you're ready to get back to your training, your body will guide you where to start. And all you have to do is listen. Then when you're ready to, to settle on some more concrete goals, you can call up someone as myself to help you program to reach those. Thank you all for spending some time with me today. Please leave a like if you liked the video, a comment if you'd like to continue the conversation down below. And don't forget to stay moving and much love, fam.